Now, Mr. Mayhem, can you tell us a little more about El Asesino? After all, you are the one that brings in new talent here at MCW. El Asesino comes straight from DR, barely speaks English, so it's hard to understand him most of the time. My Look knee. at him. He looks so strong coming out here. He's ready. He's gonna whoop El Asesino. You, Graham, I think you need to brush up on your Spanish. Look, I'm not Spanish. I never claim to be Spanish. But we got a Mexican against a Dominican. Mexicans are always gonna come out on top. Well, that would remain to be seen for this match here tonight. We can never count out a new debutant, just like we saw with the previous match with King Akakoni. So I look forward to seeing El Asesino prove himself here in the ring tonight at Tuesday Day Down. I gotta say, my money's on the radical here. At least you finally agree with me on something. Well, Mr. Mayhem, I do have to question the whole issue of Isaac the Radical's knees. Both of them seem to be quite jammed up. Yeah. What? And here, here we have the one and only El Asesino making his way out to the ring, dancing some form of bachata in a very strange getup. Cowboy boots and a vest? Are you kidding me? Wait, I thought this was a wrestling show, not a dance show. This is not Dancing with the Stars. Well, I give him a 10 on the dancing. Well, if he came here to dance, I think he got a little confused. This is a wrestling ring, and he's going to get his ass beat if that's what he thinks he can do in the ring. Well, one thing, I'll give it to him. It looks like the fans are loving what he's doing. They're actually singing along with the song. And it looks like El Asesino is just drinking up this attention that he's getting from the crowd tonight. If he doesn't come up with a win, all that dance is going to be for naught. He'll probably have to go back dancing like a Chippendales. So here we go with the beginning of the match. Mr. Mayhem, what do you call on the outcome of this match? Isaac has tended to his knees, and I think he's going to come out on top. It is looking like El Asesino is coming out very quickly and very strong in his debut match. Oh, a uh, grapple. Don't worry, Isaac's got this one. El Asesino comes out on top with this headlock. Ooh, a beautiful head takedown. So what do you know a little more about El Asesino? Is there something perhaps in his past that would have defined him as a character here? At this point, since I do not have a translator to talk to him, I have no idea. And El Asesino is delivering some huge hits a to A beautiful Isaac head scissor. I guess he does wrestle as good as he dances. He's got to make it all the way through the match. One move doesn't count. And he really seems to be unloading on Isaac the Radical. Another head scissor takedown. Moving him into the ring there. Ooh, that big straight to the back. Radical sees a little increase in his energy. Oh, a beautiful moonsault. That was great. Oh, but another head scissor. I feel like El Asesino is too quick for the Radical. I guess it's got to be that dance train. Oh, wait, nope. Isaac has decided he's had enough of that dancing fool. Working on that knee. I think the Radical has a strategy in mind. Yeah, you can't dance with no legs. I think I think El Asesino was just taunting Isaac by dancing because he knows because of the bad knees, Isaac can't dance as well as he used to. 
But another move. Well, so he seems to be able to flip quite well. I think his knees might just be better. Ooh, a bridge, a beautiful bridging suplex. Into another standing move. So, but Alasacino kicks up, just to be pushed straight back down with a backbreaker. Ooh, that hurt. A pin one, oh. only a one count. Alasacino still has fight in him. And the radicals not giving up. Ooh, a curb stomp. Huge hit to El Asesino. Uh, the Radical missed that chop. El Asesino just won't stop. This is incredible. This guy's got a lot of fight in him, doesn't he? Ooh, that arm has to be broken after that. Ooh, ooh a beautiful oh, reverse DDT. That move was easy. What is that called? Something Spanish. A moonsault from El Asesino. He's showing off himself. El Muno Salto. You want some salt with that? I think Isaac is getting a little frustrated with El Asesino and he wants to put him down here now. Ooh, a beautiful diving drop kick. Huge kick to the face. I think El Asesino is done. He has gotten his El Asesino. Asesino kick. Isaac stomping on every single body part. The legs to another leg. On the chest. Ooh, right on the head. He's done. One. One for that pin. Two. Oh, Asesino kicks out at two. kick out at two. This is a hell of a match. Latino wrestlers know how to do it. Another oh, beautiful head to you. And El Asesino is just not stopping here. Huge kick to the back of Isaac the Radical. If El Asesino had paid any attention, he should have known that if he's going to fight Isaac, he needs to go for his knees. Oh, Isaac reverses into an arm breaker. Another pin. One, two, a kick out. Oh, kick out. That was almost a three count. Now, these two are very evenly matched here tonight. Quick reversal from Emerald, from the Radical. Another curb stop, stopping on that head of El Asesino. Oh, he can't get up from this. There is no way he's getting up from this. Yet another moonsault from the Radical. But he comes right back up. El Asesino's fight never ends. It has to be those dance skills that lets him be so agile on his feet. Oh, 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 a cripple cross oh, face. Oh, a submission here. A cross face locked Alessio in. Sino. Isaac Cruz. Oh, no. And we've got a, a rope what break. What is that? That's a rope break. It's a rope break. Alessio made it. Just in time. Oh, Isaac. Isaac not done with him yet. What is Isaac, what is Isaac doing? What? Isaac climbed to the top. We don't see him fly that often. Better get out oh, reverse! Oh, get him, get him. Uh, reverse! Spectacular move. He's going for the pin. And, and Isaac it's a comes out on top. for Isaac the Radical. He wins against El Asesino. What a great new move. We've never seen that done in um, MCW. Looks like he's trying out some new stuff. What a great match. Maybe. An incredible match. And I do have to say that El Asesino showed a lot of great heart in his debut match here tonight at MCW. I hope he ditches the dancing, though, after this. I hope Isaac beat, it, beat the dancing out of him. He better have. This is wrestling, not dancing. I'm surprised he can dance so well with a pair of cowboy boots. Cause Isaac think he could, he could hit a Spanish wrestler in the in this business. You know, part of when somebody go now, so okay. Hola, Frank Casado here. I'm at the Cinco de Mayhem major wrestling event, and I'm looking for some superstars to interview. And here, oh, here comes Isaac the Radical. Isaac, please, one second of your time, please. Where one am I? 
You, you wait right here. I think right there. There's the camera right there. Look at the camera right there. Hi, mom. Isaac, Isaac is a palomo. Uh, pa pendejo. In my country, we not respecting women like him, cause he a pendejo. Women respecting all, no men. Men, men look down on him. Just know, Isaac. That after that one, two, three, pinfall, just know that you're next. I honestly find having a sink full of mayonnaise a waste. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm sure El Asesino is going to take a lot of strength from the fact that it is Cinco de Mayo today. And I'm sure he's going to try to prove something to Latinos everywhere when he takes on Matt, Mr. Supreme. There is no way El Asshole Sino is going to beat Mr. Supreme. El Asshole Sino is too new to this business. I realize Mr. Supreme knew too, but I know him, and he's going to whoop the asshole. Well, from what I saw in that recent promo that El Asesino did, it sounds like he's quite hungry. It seems like there weren't many options there in the Dominican Republic for him to build a career. So he swam across the Caribbean Sea and got to America where he was able to get a chance here at MCW to try to prove himself in front of the world. Well, of course he's hungry. His ass ain't had nothing but bananas and coconuts since he was born. They're not bananas, Graham. They're not bananas. They're cloud bananas. And it looks like Mr. Supreme is very ready here for this match tonight. He looks very excited, very focused, and very ready for the challenge that he's about to face. Oh, he come down here, that man looks strong. That man looks like he's ready to whoop a spick ass. Well, I'm not sure because uh, those plantains that El Asesino eats, they're a great source of sodium and calcium, as well as a lot of great energy. So who knows what kind of impact El Asesino will make tonight from his exclusive diet of plantains and coconuts. They have coconuts in VR? I thought that was mostly Samoan. Shut up, Mark. Grams you know, coconuts aren't exclusive to the Samoan nation there, Mr. Mayhem. Could have fooled me. And now the moment that we've all been waiting for, El Asesino making, him, making his way out to the ring, wanting to prove something here on this historic Tuesday takedown Cinco de Mayhem, sporting a new look and willing to try to show the girls a good time. What a hit. That guy looks like the guy who cuts my grass. Oh, now, fun? Gentlemen, gentlemen, I do have to say, he does come from the Dominican Republic. Even something shiny is considered valuable to them, so as gaudy and as tacky as he's looking right now, I would have to cut him a break because he doesn't know much better. You know... You're surrounded by all these Hispanics today. You can't say the word cut. They might start pulling out the razor blades. I don't know how he does it, but he gets the fans on his side so quickly with this entrance. It must be those quick, fast feet of his and that Latino action that he puts in the ring. And the match is off, the ref rings the bell. We start off with a tie-up. Immediately, El Asesino showing great dominance here in this match tonight. A head takedown, straight into a punch. Mr. Supreme not letting off. Slammed down onto the mat by Mr. Supreme, onto El Asesino, but he's back on his feet right now. Wow! 
Ooh. What a maneuver by El Asesino. That looked like one of them Mexican moves. Oh, super Ooh. bad point. That right there is a grown man move at El Asesino. That's a horror Kanana. El Asesino yet again proving how agile he is inside the ring here at MCW. El Asesino trying to put Mr. Supreme in a position, but it's quickly reversed by Mr. Supreme. That goes to show you can't keep doing them speedy old uh, Hispanic moves and expect to beat one of these great American wrestlers. But yet, Mr. Supreme is on his back once again. And it'll be El a very Asesino tying up Mr. Supreme. Quickly reversed by Mr. Supreme. And I've got to say that that referee needs to know how to get out of the way so that I can see the action in the ring. Mr. Supreme working on El Asesino's arm. Oh! Yet again, another quick reversal by El Asesino. Now pulling Mr. Supreme into the middle of the ring. But a huge punch to the midsection of El Asesino. Oh, oh another hard Kanata. My god, this match is just going back and forth. I think Mr. Supreme is playing possum right now. El Asesino yet again working on that knee. Kick straight to the back. Looks like Mr. Supreme is reeling from that hit. El Asesino breaking the Spanish announce table. ¿Qué están haciendo aquí? No, no, no lo hagan. No aquí, no. No en esta mesa. Oh, we gotta tell Enrique to calm down there. I, I think it's, I understand that. Oh, what move is dang? That was a clover leaf backbreaker. You should know this, Graham. You're a wrestler. The Spanish announcers are scrambling like ants. The Asesino moving back into the ring, having pushed Mr. Supreme in there. Oh, backstabber. The Asesino going for the pin. Dos! Kick out at two by Mr. Supreme. It's single de mile. It's a kick out at dos today. I stand corrected. I don't know what's going on. Seems like anytime Mr. Supreme gets any offense, unless the Cena host coming back out on top. Another hurricane on him. Oh, a bit of kip up. It seems like El Asesino loves his Puracaranas. Oh, what? Oh! One, two, one, two, one, two, uno, dos, uno, uno dos. dos. Oh. oh, kick out at two. That went back and forth. Incredible action here at MCW Cinco de Mayhem. Looks like Mr. Supreme is trying to change the tide here. Ooh, running that elbow straight into the turnbuckle. Now he's just driving his leg into Mr. into El Asesino's chest there. Now dragging him out to the middle of the ring. Mr. Supreme jumps on the Ooh. chest of El Asesino. A double foot stomp straight to the chest. I told you, I thought that Mr. Supreme was playing possum, and he was gonna come back and destroy him. And that's exactly what he's doing. Those punches straight to the chest. Ooh, El Asesino with an enziguri. I'm just blown away at the ability of each of these individuals to take such damage. Beautiful arm drag. Another Hurricaneano. I wonder where El Asesino trained with moves like this. Oh, DDT. DDT! 
just silencing the momentum of El Asesino. Oh, a roll up again. Uno, dos. Oh, oh no. kick out. That was a three. But that was a great reversal by Mr. Supreme. I could not believe what I was seeing. Huge drop kick to the chest of Mr. Supreme. Uh oh. Looks like El Asesino's measuring up his prey. No, what is El Asesino doing? What is he calling for? From his idol. A razor's edge. Huge hit onto Mr. Supreme. There goes the count. Three. Tres. Over. And the winner. And El Asesino wins this match against Mr. Supreme. Another extreme win here on Cinco de Mayhem. This is El Asesino's first win in MCW. Mm. And we saw some incredible action here in this match tonight. And it's just the first of many to come. Tell you what, that back and forth reversal pin, that was my highlight of the match. I am impressed by this high cross power bomb. Man, that razor's edge, that thing looks vicious. He can get somebody smaller like Mr. Supreme up. But I don't think he can get any of us bigger guys up. Well, El Asesino has recently staked a claim of his desire to go one-on-one -on -one against Isaac the Radical. And I'm thinking that this might just help him get ahead in that target. Yeah. That's the case where that boy's eyes are bigger than his stomach. Well, yeah, I'm going to give him the Radical. I'm going to give him his match. But I know that Isaac, my brother, one-third of Entourage, is going to whoop El Asesino's ass. <laughs>